Hello and welcome to this Google Sheets tutorial. What we're going to look at is how to insert an image into a cell. Now you might call it embed an image or place an image or however you want to call it. It's putting the image inside a cell so it looks something like this. You can uh, sort it as a data table. I can filter it. So I'm looking at, for instance, just China manufacturers. So here's a manufacturer and I want to see the logo so I can see if I can recognize that logo. See if I can clear the filter here um, or select all or other. There we go. So that's what we're going to do. So how do we go about it? Uh, incidentally, if you just want to follow along with this, I will give you a link to the exercise files so that you can then you know, follow along and don't have to scout all these logos for yourself. So I've uh, got a sheet over here, sheet three. Um, got all the different types of uh, groups here and got the different vehicles that they've done there. So that's what we're going to have a quick look at. So what I want to do is over here is type in the word logo. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to do a format painter there. If you're not going to use the format painter, really candy little device that you can use here. So I can click on that. Uh, oops, let's escape that. Click on the vehicles because I want to copy the look of that. Uh, there we go. Make sure I've got vehicles selected. Click on format painter click on logo and it'll copy the format from here to here. Great, so what I need to do is put in a logo. So because I'm gonna put these logos in these cells here, I wanna make these a little bigger here. So I'm just gonna highlight the uh, rows and just make the rows a little taller. And then I'm gonna line all of this in the middle here. So let's just go to that to the center here. Uh, that's good. And there should be a vertical line option. I'll put that in the middle there, that's good. Right, let's put some logos in, shall we? So the first logo that we have is the Toyota logo. So make sure you're in the cell. We're gonna go up to and click on inserts, down to image, and across to image in cell. So image in cell. Now, if this is the first time if you're doing this, you might actually see a little um, bubble, you know, a little bit of text or tooltip that comes up and it says new to Google Sheets, because it is, relatively. So let's do that, oh, I've got rid of that. So image, image in cell. And now what we need to do is upload the image. So if you wanna follow along, you can use the links, uh, the zip folder that we've, uh, I've given you. Uh, so I'm gonna choose an image to upload. Okay, so here we go, we've got all of our images uh, here. So uh, yeah, that's good. So these are all the different logos. So as I said, the first one we're looking for is Toyota. So we're just gonna double click on Toyota here. Uh, it's going to upload the image and it will place the image in the cell. There you go. Interesting thing is the bigger they make the cell, like so, the bigger the image will become. So just going to make it smaller for the time being. Uh, and then I'm just going to insert other images. So you can see, I'm just going to make these considerably larger. Let's just go down and just make that large. There we go. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. Volkswagen Group. I'm going to do Alt I to bring up this here. I can use the uh, arrow keys to bring down to image and cross to image in cell. Press Enter to choose the image. Uh, let's which one is it? Volkswagen. So it's over here. Uploads the image. Volkswagen. There you go. So what we can do is we can go to each one of these and insert the cell. Insert image, image in cell, choose an image to upload. Uh, completely forgot what we're doing. Volkswagen Hyundai. So there we go. I think that's um, maybe a Hyundai Kia, that group there. And you go on and on and on until we've inserted all the images. Now, you can do that on your own time. What I'm going to do is just pause it, uh, fill it all in, and then we'll see what we can do with them. Okay, let's just have a quick pause. All right then, so I've just finished doing that. Uh, I've got Mitsubishi Motors. This one here is the last cell and they're all included in the cell, um, which is pretty cool. So now what I'm gonna do is just gonna click anywhere on the table and then from data, I click on create filter just here at the top. So we went to data here and then went to create a filter. And what that did was that created drop down list here at the top. And now I can include those images in a filter. So if I now wanted to, as I did before, click and just choose, say, I don't know, let's have a look here, Japan, click on OK, and I'll have all the manufacturers from Japan. So if I go here and let's select all of them and OK, 
now we can see all of them. So that's good, so far so good. Now I found it really difficult if I wanted to sort of create something like a chart or something with this there, the images and the logos didn't come through. If you find a way of doing that, let us know in the comments below. Really appreciate that, that would uh, be great and then maybe we can use another video. Uh, it might be that Google, Google has updated this feature since I've recorded this, so now you can put an image into uh, these logos into a chart on the X axis or the, the Y axis. But uh, let's see how we can do that. So first thing I need to know is I'll need to know the vehicles and the logos. So what I'm going to do here is, uh, well, I'm just going to copy the vehicles one through. So instead of actually copying it, I'm just going to do a new sheet. Uh, this is the sheet. I could rename it uh, the charts. Here we go. Uh, if I go back to sheet three here, and I'm just going to uh, yeah, copy all of these ones across. So from D1 down. So I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to type equals, just go up to the top and click on D1 here at the top, press enter. So that's my vehicles. And then I can auto fill that down to what, 22 ish or so. Uh, oh, that's a bit too far, but that's fine. So that's the number of vehicles that we've got there. Uh, I tell you what, I need to do is just insert um, one column. So this way, basically, if the chart changes or the data updates here, it's going to update for my chart over here. So here I want to have the logos. So I'm just going to copy and paste the logos across, basically. So if I just go all the way down here, could have done it on this page, I suppose, but just wanted to make this look a little prettier over here. And then we can paste that in. And here's all the logos. Notice that because they're within the cell, um, the uh, all the images are inserted within the cell, that the size of the image depends on the, the size of the cell. So if I make it bigger, etc., then I can see. Uh, in fact, I'm going to do that. Uh, just going to highlight all of this one like so from Toyota down to, let's make that a little bigger here. And again, I'm just going to format paint this here. And uh, I tell you what, I'm just going to go down here and make this nice and cent centrally aligned and vertical. There we go. All right, so what I want to do is insert a chart now. So in this chart, I can then work out how many vehicles, etc., we've got there. So I'm going to use this as the basis for the chart. Uh, so I'll just select this, Control, Shift, and the down arrow will allow me to select all of them down to the bottom. See, I don't want that one, just that's fine there. And, and then what I'm going to do is go to Insert and Charts, and it should insert a chart here, and that's great. So if the chart is the wrong type of chart, if you selected a chart and thought, oh, hang on a second, this is a bit strange, you can also go to, uh, it's under Customize, and there's a chart, oh, where is this one here? Ah, there we go, Setup chart type so under setup here and you've got chart type and there's bar chart that's the chart you're wanting to include it's a bar chart here and then basically what we're going to do is just go through these ones here on the chart to get rid of stuff that we don't need so say for instance i, I you know I, I if i go through customizing and then i can go to the chart style so there's really none there uh, background color i might want to do none so it just removes the background color there uh, let's have a look here. Access and titles. Um, oh, the title text and vehicle text. Let's delete that. And that removes the uh, access title here. Uh, what other titles have we got? Uh, it's a chart title. It's got vehicles. Let's get rid of that one as well. That's good. Uh, I don't want these axis points just here because I'm going to have these amount. Oh, no, I'll keep them. Yeah, I'll keep them there. Um, uh, uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, so what I can basically do here is I'm now going to stretch this so it basically fits over the uh, the data. So if I come up here, drag down to here, uh, basically making sure each one of these lines up. If I drag this back a bit to the left, uh, making sure each one of these lines up. In fact, if I click actually on the data within a chart, I can go within this chart here and adjust it to line it up with the image. And then eventually what I'd like to do is I'd like to obviously add the data points in. So this is the data points. If I scroll down to the bottom, uh, I can get an ask for data labels where I can see that the position is auto and the text size is auto. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I want to hide this column here. So I'm going to right click and then go to hide. Oh, make sure I've got the right column here. So I've got, there we go, right click, hide column. Uh, now this is giving me option here. So it says data in hidden columns is excluded from the chart. Well, no, I want to include the data because I want to inc include this in the chart here. All right, let's move myself out of the way and click on the chart and just 
line itself up a bit. That's good. Just gonna I tell you what I'm just gonna do is just move this one to the top here like so, and then drag the actual chart down a bit just to make some space at the top here because I'm gonna select all of this here and then I will under uh, format go to merge cells. I'm gonna go to merge all uh, and take type in their number of vehicles. There we go, and do a little quick format painter because I can't remember what that was there, so that's good. Uh, let's see what else I can do with the ch uh, chart itself to change the formatting of it. Um, that's it, there we go. So just going to edit the chart, um, customize. Um, let's have a look at grid lines here. So at the moment, I don't want any grid lines, so let's see if I can um, choose auto or none for the grid line color. There we go. That's better. Yeah, that's good. I think that's about it with the chart. So the idea is you can line this up and make it look pretty as well. And then the idea is, is if these figures here, if they change or for whatever reason, maybe it's linked to another data, then the chart one updates and you have images within your chart. I think that's about it for the time being. You can go and add borders to it, make it look fancy. You know, if I selected all of this here, uh, and then over here you can choose a border, nice thick border, there we go. And then choose the color, which side you want it to be, you know. Um, yeah, lots of different types of options there. Uh, and just drag that here, make it, bring it closer, bring the chart further away. Okay, like so. Again, there'll be a bit of pushing and pulling to get this to fit just right until uh, Google Sheets. I know what's going to happen. I'm going to release this uh, tutorial, this uh, inserting an image tutorial, and, uh, and uh, Google Sheets or Google's just going to do an update to this where it's going to make it a hell of a lot easier to do these charts there. So there you go. So if you haven't already done so, please click on that subscribe button down at the bottom. Please give it a thumbs up if you've gotten anything out of this tutorial. And just one more thing to say thank you so much for watching.